Abortion rights continued to be a winning issue in last night's election results, and Missouri Congresswoman Cori Bush says her push for a ceasefire in Gaza is gaining momentum. Good morning. I'm Kristen Wright with NPR News, and here are today's top stories. Abortion rights were a winning issue in several states in the off-year elections. Voters in Kentucky re-elected their Democratic governor, who had touted his support for abor- abortion rights. In Ohio, voters approved a constitutional amendment protecting reproductive health decisions, as NPR's Sarah McCammon reports. Ohio has become the seventh state since Roe v. Wade was overturned last year, where voters have supported abortion rights in ballot initiatives. Katy Paris is founder of Red Wine and Blue, a group that mobilizes suburban women for progressive causes. It doesn't matter if you are a red state, a blue state, or a purple state. The American people are saying, yes, that we want our reproductive rights back. Ohio has a Republican governor and legislature. The passage of Issue 1 means a state law banning most abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy will remain blocked in court. Sarah McCammon, NPR News. Mississippi voters re-elected their Republican governor, Tate Reeves. Reeves fended off challenger Brandon Presley, a public service commissioner and cousin of Elvis Presley. Reeves thanked the former president for his backing. I want to thank someone that I spoke with just a few minutes ago, President Donald J. Trump. Mississippi has not elected a Democratic governor in more than 20 years. Missouri Congresswoman Cori Bush says her push for a ceasefire in Gaza is gaining momentum. St. Louis Public Radio's Jason Rosenbaum reports the Democratic lawmaker says the idea is popular with the public, even though it's not embraced by her colleagues. Bush is the lead sponsor of a resolution calling for the Biden administration to push for a ceasefire in Gaza. Other Democrats have rejected that idea, contending it would allow time for Hamas to regroup. And Israel's prime minister has categorically rejected the idea. But Bush says the idea is pulling well with the public and has the support of some key world leaders. There is an opportunity to speak about uh, supporting that ceasefire from a position of strength. And this isn't a fringe position. This is a position that the Pope supports. Bush is part of a group of Democratic lawmakers who have been harshly critical of Israel's military campaign in Gaza. For NPR News, I'm Jason Rosenbaum in St. Louis. The House has voted to censure Michigan Democratic Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib over comments she made about the Israel-Hamas war. She's the only Palestinian-American member of Congress. Tlaib posted a video on social media featuring a Palestinian slogan that has been called anti-Semitic. She has defended this as free speech. Members of both parties have now criticized her comments. You're listening to NPR News from Washington.